So today I would like to talk about the project of new nuclear power plant in Slovenia, uh, which is uh, one of the development uh, project in our company, as already uh, my colleague uh, Mr. Tomáš Žagar mentioned uh, in the morning. Uh, so this is the, the outline of uh, the presentation. Uh, I will define the, the problem and the challenges. Then I will talk about the consumption and the production of electrical energy in Slovenia in the past and in the future. Then I will move to the, to the project itself, uh, to justification and feasibility studies. Uh, to project planning uh, and uh, next steps of the project. And at the end, I will wrap, wrap up my presentation with, uh, with a final statement. So I defined uh, the problem as uh, Slovenia has no energy strategy. So this is uh, a big problem and uh, it's even bigger if you take into account that uh, the last uh, energy strategy was valid only until 2009. So it's uh, 10 years now from the last uh, valid strategy and uh, this is certainly uh, not good and uh, it makes a lot of uh, uncertainties in the, in the planning of the future in the, on the electrical energy field. So politicians will have to take over responsibility for future en energy strategy as soon as possible. So what are the challenges? Uh, within, uh, if, if you want to frame this uh, energy strategy, uh, we have to think also about the constraints. So there, there are a set of the requirements uh, uh, established by European Union. For example, uh, EU goals on reducing greenhouse gas emissions, which are compared to the level in 1990 less, 20% less uh, emissions by 2020, 40% by 2030, and uh, 80 to 95% less by 2050. And on the other side, we also have, for example, targets for renewables, which are uh, in Europe, uh, generally speaking, 20% by 2020. Uh, by the way, the, the share for Slovenia is uh, higher, it's 25% uh, and 32% uh, by 2030. So this uh, increasing share of renewables uh, also in electrical energy sector, especially variable renewables, uh, introduces intermittency into the electrical grid systems, systems so therefore increasing the system costs uh, non-linearly. So we, we will need to invest uh, more money in uh, uh, to strengthen power cables, to, to, to do the especially dis distribution system more smarter, and to install uh, much more uh, backup capacities, for example. So the, the question or the challenge is how to follow the sustainable development criteria that is environmental impact, economic competitiveness, and safety and security of supply within these uh, goals or targets. Uh, this graph shows uh, production and uh, consumption of electrical energy in Slovenia for last uh, 50 or 60 years with the real data and with the prediction for next uh, 40, 50 years. The, the lower part of, the, of this graph shows, shows production of the electrical energy. Uh, so this uh, blue color represents uh, production from hydropower plants. The red one, production from the coal-fired power plant. And the green one, production from the, from the existing nuclear power plant. And this upper upper curve represents the demand or the consumption of electrical uh, energy in Slovenia. So it's a fact, uh, we heard this uh, several times today that the electrical energy consumption will slightly increase in the future. 
we already import about 20% of electrical energy in Slovenia nowadays, and this gap uh, will significantly increase, especially after planned shutdown of the nuclear power plant in the year 43, and uh, the shutdown of the of the coal-fired power plant, uh, Shostan, in uh, at the latest at the latest in the year uh, 54, if not earlier. So we need to think about this gap, which could be at the year uh, or after 2050 uh, on the level of 20 terawatt hours. We have to think about this already now. We have to plan uh, about this. And uh, we, or let's say uh, our company, uh, proposes solution in a low carbon scenarios. So as a mixture of uh, renewables and uh, nuclear. Uh, in next slides, uh, I will uh, briefly present the project of uh, new nuclear power plant in Slovenia, which is still in the very early phase. So here are the, the main technical features of the, of the plant. This plant uh, uh, should be light water pressurized reactor of third generation, which actually uh, means uh, that it has, compared to the existing technology, it has even improved safety, enhanced technology, better e economy. The lifetime or original lifetime should be at least 60 years. Uh, it should be able to operate uh, flexible, so not only as a base load, uh, in a base load mode, but also uh, in the load follow mode. It should use also the MOX fuel or recyclable fuel. It should uh, produce uh, minimal radioactive waste, uh, and it has to fulfill the highest uh, international uh, safety requirements and uh, standards. Uh, this is the, the list of the today's potential uh, reactors uh, within the pressurized water reactor technology. Uh, so it's a, a rather good uh, competition on the market uh, at the moment. Uh, we can, we can uh, divide the suppliers in three major uh, classes according to their size. So the first size is around 1100 megawatts, uh, the second uh, about uh, 1400 megawatts, and uh, the highest one uh, about uh, 1700 megawatts. So in, in this class, we have uh, five different uh, suppliers, uh, starting with the Japanese uh, French company called Atmia, then uh, Westinghouse uh, company, uh, China National Nuclear Corporation, uh, Rosaton company, and uh, Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company. In, in this middle class, uh, we have Korea Hydro Nuclear Power, plant, so-called EU APR reactor, and uh, in the highest class uh, we have two suppliers, Mitsubishi with EU APWR and uh, X uh, Arriva company, uh, today Framaton company, uh, with uh, EPR reactor. Uh, I, I will skip this slide. Uh, project of new nuclear power plant is feasible. We performed uh, several studies uh, in different fields. For example, uh, uh, the grid connection. We, we performed uh, static and dynamic analysis in case uh, of connection of such a big unit into the Slovenian transmission uh, system. And uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, this connection is possible. Uh, it is possible immediately for the smaller unit. Uh, I have in mind uh, 1100 megawatts. Uh, but for example, for, for, for the highest class, uh, 16 or 1700 megawatts, certain upgrades and uh, some additional uh, 
connections to the neighboring countries, especially to, to Hungary and to Italy, uh, uh, have to be done. Uh, regarding cooling, uh, cooling capacities are already exhausted by the existing nuclear power plant, uh, which use uh, one stroke cooling principle. So we, we need to, to think about uh, cooling towers. And it came uh, out that the most optimal solution would be uh, natural drought uh, cooling uh, towers. Uh, transport, uh, in the field of transport, we we analyzed uh, different uh, way of transport, uh, different uh, routes. We identified uh, the most critical uh, components, uh, which are the largest one and the most uh, heaviest one. Uh, these are, for example, uh, steam generators, reactor pressure vessel, uh, turbine, uh, and so on. And uh, the result showed that, uh, that the transport uh, is uh, possible with uh, some uh, minor, uh, minor uh, technical and uh, administration uh, measurements. Uh, construction logistic, uh, we identified the, the, the area of the construction, the size of the construction, the needed uh, connection to the public infrastructure, the, the size, the area of the settlements, uh, warehouses, and so on. And then the next one is uh, cogeneration. So in addition to the production of electrical energy, we, could all, we can also produce some other products. For example, uh, uh, heat for district heating, uh, heat for process heat, uh, for agriculture, for cooling, and so on. And uh, all this actually even improved the economy of the project. And at the end, the, the ec economic, economic uh, also here all the results of the micro and macro economic uh, uh, performances uh, showed that uh, the project is uh, beneficial. Uh, this is the site uh, of the of the nuclear power plant in Slovenia. This one is existing nuclear power plant in Kershko. This is the the Sava River, and there are two possible uh, locations, micro locations. The one is uh, upstream or west location and uh, the another one is uh, downstream or east location. Uh, this is the very rough uh, schedule plan, schedule plan of the project, uh, which is uh, divided into several phases. This uh, green dash line represents uh, decision made by the government and by parliament, for example, with the acceptance of the so-called uh, energy concept of Slovenia. This is the energy strategy, which is not yet accepted. And since then, uh, we need between five to eight years for the spatial planning process, for the preparation for tendering, uh, preparation for the financing, uh, for the public tender negotiation, and at the end of, the, of this uh, phase, uh, contract si signature. So after this first phase, uh, we can move to the next one, which are preparation activities for the constructions. Uh, this phase uh, could take about two years. Then construction itself, about five years. So altogether, from the decision uh, on, the, on the national level till the operation, we need uh, 15 years. But uh, at the moment, we are still somewhere here, so below this, uh, this green line. So all, also, the, this schedule shows that uh, all big infrastructure, pro uh, infrastructure projects are complex and they need a lot of time, so we have to plan 
such kind of projects uh, well in advance. Uh, about some uh, future activities, uh, so as I said, project is still in the early planning and preparation phase. Uh, we need strategic and political decision about uh, two important uh, documents. The first one, which should be accepted by the end of this year, is National Energy Climate Plan. And the second one uh, is Energy Concept of Slovenia. Uh, th this one should be accepted uh, as promised, uh, as a promise of Ministry for Infrastructure next year. So challenges are known and they are manageable. Uh, we need a very strong national policy which could help solve these challenges. Uh, then er environmental, social and energy benefits are si significant and they uh, justify all the efforts and the costs. So our proposal is that uh, the optimal scenario for the Slovenian future, energy future, is the mixture of the new nuclear power plant uh, plus uh, renewables, uh, which, uh, which showed the, the best uh, sustainable, uh, which showed as the best sustainable solution for, for our future. Uh, so this is the, the statement of my presentation. Construction of new nuclear power plant in Slovenia is part of the sustainable solution and it would significantly contribute to the sustainable development goals up to 2050 and uh, beyond. So, thank you. Thank you.